It seems like a good time to tell you about my favorite sex websites. <laughs> starting with sexinfo101.com. There's a lot going on on this site. Sex advice, a decent encyclopedia of sex topics. What I like most about it though is the sex positions guide. Everything's organized by category. 69, butterfly, cowgirl, cunnilingus. 139 different sex positions you can then select from to view two computer animated people acting it out like a 3D video game of humping. I love the internet. Next awesome site, bedsider.org. Welcome to the free support network for birth control indeed. I have yet to navigate everything this thorough site has to offer. There's so much and it's so good. It has testimonies from people who use the various methods, a reminder service that will poke you when it's time to take your pill or change your ring. <laughs> it's sweet. What impresses me the most is over here. All these images are so pretty and clean looking. Check this out. I can click most effective party ready, STI prevention, and it'll narrow down options or compare them side by side. Takes my breath away, it's so ah! Scarletine.com. This site was one of the first sex education sources on the web, 1998 friends. The Teen Diary look is an effort to target millennials, but the content is for anyone curious. There are forms to ask sex questions and answers are returned within a few hours, or if you're feeling really panicky, they have a texting service. Sexetc.org is really similar to Scarletine, made for teens and young adults to get the comprehensive education most people are missing at school. This one has two excellent tools that make it unique. One, to aid communication. Who are you wanting to talk to? About what? to say, and they give an example script. This part is also cool. By state, it outlines what your sexual rights are as a teen there. Sexarchive.info. This one, which was curated by Dr. Erwin Haverly, has some pretty nerdy sweet features. One, access in all of these languages to the largest online library of sex research. Go to behavior surveys, international encyclopedia, and you'll find the sex story of each of these places. Outer space? is lumped together with Antarctica. Channelformembarrassingillnesses.com, or what I search for as breast gallery when I can't remember the whole thing. It's the website for the popular British TV show Embarrassing Bodies, which travels around in a mobile clinic to give medical treatment to people who are too embarrassed to deal with their body problems elsewhere. For me as a sex educator, the site is a goldmine of breast, penis, and vulva photos that show just how diverse and not embarrassing our bodies are. Beautifulagony.com is a collection of video footage from volunteers masturbating. Their Headshots, the face of the little death, orgasm. It is such an incredible way to relate to each other to see that yes, our sexualities are unique, but we're far more similar than we are different. Fetlife.com is the online community for people in the lifestyle of BDSM, kink, and fetishes. I like it because it connects people who may otherwise feel isolated, which I'd say more than two.com does for non-monogamy and asexuality.org does for asexuality. They're come as you are sites. Ojoysextoy.com, an undeniably clever sex site that I think many of you would be or are fans of. The artwork models healthy sexuality while the speech bubbles discuss sex toys and sex positivity. Webcomic genius. What I want to know are your favorite websites. Please leave them in the comments and stay curious. YouTube.com slash explanations is also a website. If you would like to support us, visit patreon.com, shop at our DFTBA store, or share our videos. Thank you. Masturbating.